Hi, thank you for joining us today on this overview of Zuni Learning Tree, where we're going to share with you a new vision and a new tool. But before we do that, let's talk first about what is our goal in education. Is our goal to raise student achievement? We know that our states, our district, and our schools are rated by it. We know that our teachers and students are often evaluated by it. We know that our merit pay can be based on it, and our parents worry about it, and yet, those of us in the trenches, we know that raising student achievement is about a whole lot more than a score on a test. We know that it involves nurturing classroom environments, highly qualified teachers, access to inspiring and engaging content, engaging our parents in the learning process. We need to keep up with evidence-based practices as well as educational job force trends. We need to personalize our learning and differentiate our instruction. And most of all, we need to make sure that our children know they are loved and that they matter. So let's talk about a few of the challenges that can be involved in really helping to meet and raise our student achievement. Let's look first at some of the challenges our administrators face. Balancing our budgets is a continual challenge every year. Providing equal access to quality resources for all of our teachers and educators working with our children. Supporting new initiatives such as STEM, project-based learning. And our teachers, they are challenged with not enough time to implement the new initiatives to find the resources they need to differentiate and personalize instruction, to collaborate with each other to get the best impact for the youth that they're working with, and finding creative ways to engage our parents. And our parents, they constantly ask, how do I help at home? So we come into the field excited and eager to work with these brilliant young, young minds. And then oftentimes at the end of the day, we end up looking a little stressed. I know I've carried that look myself. And it's not that our heart isn't in the right place, it's that it can just be overwhelming to meet the variety of needs. So Zuni's team of teachers, parents, students have all come together to really help us find ways that we can maybe just ease a few of these pain points. We know we can't solve all the problems, but if we could just ease a few, then we know that it'll be better for all of us. So when we were looking for solutions, we knew that technology was going to be important, and we knew that open educational resources could help play a role as well. But these two possible solutions can also present their own set of challenges. How do you use the technology in a way to create higher order thinking skills? And how do you even just manage it in a day with 25 students logging in? And open educational resources, so amazing as they are, there are millions upon millions upon millions of them. And who has the time to vet them, organize them, decide if they're great, and actually bring them into a way that you, they can easily be used. So Zuni knew that these were possible solutions that we we're going to have to do some work to really be able to make this easy, fluid solution for everyone working in education. So we knew that when we were working on the design that we needed to make it simple for teachers. They're overwhelmed enough and technology needs to be easy. So three clicks and they can have what they need. Content management system needed to not only come preloaded with over 40,000 free and open educational resources, but it also needed to be able to be customized so that a district can add their own content in there as well. Again, trying to find one place for everyone to go and be able to find the majority of the tools that they need. We needed to make sure that it was engaging, informative, and inspiring. Nobody wants to go to a place that's just about work or just about resources. They want to be inspired. So we used our dashboard to be able to inspire, inform, and engage. Learning management system is important today to help in that personalizing of instruction. So we, needed to, we knew that we needed to make sure that we worked with current learning management systems such as Google Classroom or any other learning management system that's out there. And we also want to provide one just in case schools didn't already have one. We know that multiple languages is important as well. And we know that social media, really being able to harness it for the power of good is important. And we know that we also need to be compatible on all devices. Everyone has their preferred device, and our goal at Zuni is to make sure that they can get the most out of whatever device they are on. So now that we have kind of an idea of what Zuni's intent is and how it is we want to help support some of the challenges that we're facing, let's go in and take a look at the actual platform. So here you'll see the dashboard. Remember we talked about the dashboard is about informing, inspiring, and engaging. So right from the very beginning, be inspired videos. This is a beautiful video about teaching girls bravery. The videos may have represent students doing amazing work, maybe young kids coding or reading multiple books or just anything that's happening good in the world and environment to help inspire us to think about the engaging process and learning and growing as wonderful people as well as academically. 
They also provide opportunities for states to be able to put information out about new initiatives or a district can put information out. Each one of these widgets can be custom created by the user. Whether you're at the district level or state level or school level, you can create these widgets and share them with the audience that you select. It may be just parents, it may be just fifth graders, it may just be teachers that are at the fifth grade level. You have that flexibility to be able to target your audience in particular ways. And you can set these up so that they can also collaborate back with you. So they can simply add a message back and forth and you can have a dialogue. We also wanted to inform about great sites like Wonderopolis, which is created by the Family Center for Learning. And you simply click on the link and it will take you out to their website where this article will read to you. So every morning at my house, this is what we do. We have this art, Wonderopolis reads to us every morning while we're getting ready for school. It's created opportunities for new types of conversations that we otherwise would never have in our household. What if we start building some of that back into the families? Wouldn't that be pretty cool and exciting? You have a calendar feature so you can really, uh, has a cool tool to be able to schedule your parent-teacher conferences and you can sync to other calendars as well. A little joke of the day for some fun. And again, you can create these widgets in any format that you want. You may put a word of the day up or a sentence of the day or here's, you know, information about cool things that are happening at school. The sky's the limit. You're a creative mind and you can create what you want to in this widget board. The content, the resources the teachers are going to be looking for to instruct with, exist up here where the grades are. You can select multiple grades. You can have whichever grade you want open. So if I'm a third grade teacher, I may want one through fourth grade because I may need to remediate or I may want to go ahead as well. And I have the capability of doing either, any of that from Zuni. So say I'm grade three and now I'm going to look and here's my various content subject areas. Letter C math, science social studies, your four, music, specialty areas. We'll show you some stuff like special ed, library, media, bilingual. Teacher tools gives you great things for professional learning communities. So if I were an administrator, I could easily do site-based professional development right off of any of these resources. If there's a topic that I wanted to cover that's not listed here, see the little chat box over here? I could simply just chat with Zuni and request to have a collection of resources put together on a particular topic. You have technology so you can learn how to do every, anything that you want. We had a parent who told us that I came up to some parent nine. He said, I have to tell you I cheated. I said, what do you mean you cheated? He said, well, I got a new job, and my son told me if I learned Microsoft Office, I could get a raise. But I was embarrassed to admit I didn't know where to go learn it. So his son put him on Zuni, showed him where the Microsoft Office tutorials are located. He went through them and ended up getting the raise at his job. So that was a pretty cool serendipitous moment. Uh, what's up this month will come in, and you can see you have every month, and you have the holidays, anything you have going on. So if we were looking at Cinco de Mayo, I'm going to click on Cinco de Mayo, and now my teacher has all the resources they need to be able to teach Cinco de Mayo. So here are free games and interactives, and what you see right here are the free open educational resources from the internet that have been curated and linked up inside of Zuni. So now teachers can quickly go and find resources of all types that they want. This is the wow effect. When teachers see this, they're like, wow, because they quickly see how much time they're going to have saved and how empowered they're going to be with their lessons that they have to bring in. They love that they have the teacher pay teacher freebies, as well as all of the other great resources to look at. Now what's really cool is not only that you have the resources, but it's what you can do with the resources. So these little icons here will tell you what you can do with them. I could quickly share this out into my Facebook. So remember I talked about we really want to empower our Facebooks. So if this had been an audio ebook or a game, I could simply post it right out to my school's Facebook page. And parents might engage more with our Facebook if they knew that they were going to be quickly accessing resources that can really ha that they can have fun with with their children. You can also remember we talked about the widgets. I could take this resource and I could plant it into a widget I created. So I could make this a featured tool and I could share it in, on Zuni for our parents and students as well. I can copy the link and put it into any other document that I might want to. I can share it with my class, I can share it with someone, and I can share it straight out on Google Classroom. So if I am a Google Classroom user, I can click here, click Google Classroom, and boom, pop, it just goes right in. So the share and assign are similar, only with assign you're going to be able to put a begin and end date, some instructions, you're going to grade it, so you have, you know, more it's an actual assignment, not just a resource I'm sharing. But you have the ability to share with classes, individual students, so I can differentiate this assignment very easily. I can share with Google Classroom as well, or assign on Google Classroom as well. This is little seedling is the uh, plant it. This is where you can use plant it to put everything into your favorite. So some people are familiar with penning it on Pinterest, but in Zuni we plant it. 
So I can move it right over to my garden because we're planting it into our gardens and I can just click move. Notice have a little new button up here. So that means I put something in my garden and notice how the seedling is now a tree. Here's a seedling, here's a tree. So when I come to this page, I quickly know, oh, I've used this piece of content already. It's already in my garden. So that's really cool. I can click on the more information and find out the standards that are listed with it as well. So it'll give me a summary and let me know the standards that it goes with as well. So very easy to use the content. This is where they find all the resources is up here. This is where the content is located. This is the 40,000 plus free and open educational resources that already exist inside Zuni. Then if I come over into my garden, this left side, these all these options, these are what I can do with the content. So I can look into my garden and I can see what folders I've created. I'm going to probably have some favorites for math, science, social studies, depending on what I'm teaching. I may have the resources that if I'm a special education teacher, I may create a collection of resources for each student that has an IEP and share that with the general ed teacher, the interventionist, the parent can see it. And now that student has resources to help build towards those IEP goals right in this one location. So maybe I'm going to click on my uh, resources for uh, coding this summer. And I want to see what I have inside of coding. I have these two collections. Notice this 7, notice this 10. So inside here, I now have all of these resources. I can really activate these resources by sharing, assigning, and commenting them right from here. I can copy to another location. I can remove it out of my garden if I want to. So you really have a lot of flexibility once you have your favorites collections put together. In addition, underneath my garden, you can quickly see what's been shared by me, who I've shared things with, who has shared something with me, if I've added my own content under my creations, if I want to sync my Google Drive, my Dropbox, or my Microsoft OneDrive, I can do that as well. Again, trying to help teachers have just one place to go access the resources they need to be able to educate with. You also have the ability to create classes and assignments. Super easy. So like we said, you can send an assignment out to Google Classroom or you may use something in here as well. You can link your Google Classroom here and you can also see what you have available in your Google Classroom or you can just use a, a class here inside Zuni. You have a code. You can give students a code to add them. We can import students for you as well. You can import on your own. We make adding students super easy. And let's come down and take a look at this assignment and let's see what students have submitted. So if I click on this assignment, I can see that they have submitted three attachments and this student is 32% complete. This student is 100% complete and these students haven't started yet. So students have a self-monitoring progress opportunity. They can simply move, slide their bar and then you can see how much progress where it is they think they're at. Say that they have started their three attachments. And these are different resources from created from the Google Apps, so they can easily and quickly create from Google Apps. You can comment back and forth and you can put your grade right here. So it's super easy to be able to come in and work with um, classes and assignments. You can add school district state content. Ebooks at a glance allows you to come in and quickly find ebooks. This is really powerful for parents. So when my little one was in second grade. We spent the whole winter snuggled up to Storyline Online, which I did not know about until Zuni. So let's empower every parent that has young kids in the home across our state, across the nation, to be able to enjoy this great resource put together by the Actors Guild where these wonderful actors read books. And it's beautiful and fun and engaging and just wonderful warm moments in the home. You can also come into games at a glance. So this year I, I challenge everyone to participate in the Hour of Code that comes up in December. And you can do it by getting started in less than seven minutes. You just simply click on coding activities, take your kids into Zuni. All you have to do is watch Moana or Anna and Elsa, any one of these great code.org resources, and you will have your kids coding in less than seven minutes, and they will think that it's the most awesome thing ever. They can have all these other skills to practice all these other skills as well, and um, ready to go. So this provides you a really good overview of Zuni. You can uh, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. We are always posting great content out on Facebook. YouTube is where you find our training videos. So we're excited that you joined us here today. Let's pop back to our PowerPoint where it really... So when we come back and we think about, did we save teachers time? Did we, or did we provide an opportunity for districts to be able to save money by harnessing the power of free open educational resources? 
to help connect communities, help in family engagement, empower our parents, simplify the personal learning process, facilitate that love for lifelong learning, and do we promote sharing through social media? The answer was a resounding yes. So our teachers feel like they have the assistant that they've always dreamed about, needed, and deserved, and we're excited about that. We have great feedback from our users of how it saves them time, how districts are spending money on a lot of resources. They need one tool, that tool is Zuni. They love how Zuni can grow and change with them and it's fluid so they don't have to think about something different in another year or two. And so thank you for joining us today. You can contact your local regional sales representative or you can reach out to Zuni and we'll put you in touch with your regional account executive. So thank you again. Let us know if you have any questions and we're here to help be the assistant that you all always dreamed about, needed, and deserved.